Today we're going to be going through my quarantine sales. So this is everything that people have bought uh, in the month of March. And uh, so what people buy during quarantine? Let's find out. during the quarantine um, a lot of my sales are have jumped because uh, of course a lot a lot more people are, are at home uh, people are changing their lifestyles um, so people have a lot a lot more time to order things also uh, Amazon is not allowing people to send things into FBA um, so that's really helped my eBay sales out because a lot of stuff I have on eBay um, is stuff that people will probably will order from Amazon but they can't now because they won't be able to get it until like the 20th or 25th or whatever it is um, so we're just gonna dive right in I'm gonna try to start a screen recording on my new uh, MacBook Pro and we'll see how this is going to go. All right, here we go. All right, so let's start with the Amazon.com uh, sales. And I'm, I just already set the range to the last 30 uh, days, which is not gonna necessarily be exactly um, the whole month of March, but we'll just get the last 30 days. Not that many orders on Amazon that we fulfilled ourselves because we sent a lot of stuff into Fulfilled by Amazon. So we'll look at that also. So if we start here at the top, we sold a rain bird um, irrigation repair expansion kit um, that was $28 we paid about $2 for this it came on one of the um, Home Depot pallets from a long time ago so we sold that actually sold two of the Latonia lightings um, on the same day which is weird I guess because the um, whoever had the FBA spot they must have actually ran out so we was able to get both of those sales um, we sold this spice uh, candle drum light so if, let me tell you the story about this real quick. We've actually had this returned three times. Nothing wrong with it. Just people have uh, returned it. So uh, we've had to sell, sell this thing three times. Um, but we actually sold for $398. We paid about $10 uh, for it. So that was actually a pretty, pretty uh, big sale for us. We also sold a home decor brush pendant light for $28. We paid probably about $1, $2 for this. It was on Home Depot palette. Uh, the next thing that we sold was the Wham Suda Vintage uh, King Size Duvet Cover set. We paid about 5 to $7 for this. It came on one of the uh, Home Depot palettes as well. Um, and it's very, this one right here was $89.99. We've had this one listed for quite a while, so I'm pretty sure this is probably another effect of people not being able to send things in the FBA because we didn't have the buy box on this, per this one item. Uh, so let's go over to FBA. I'm trying to make this video as quick as possible. Um, uh, so we sold a stick butt. Um, we had a bunch of these from a uh, Wholesale Ninja palette that we got. I think we had like 150 of these or so. So we sell these um, very often. We sold a Twine Wood Artisan um, Cheese Paddle. We actually got this on in a Barton box, which we didn't unbox on camera. Uh, we paid uh, $89 for the whole box of everything that was inside of the box. Um, so. I think we paid, paid roughly between three and five dollars for everything within that uh, palette. Uh, so we also sold a um, low pro slingshot edge uh, backpack. I actually wanted to keep this backpack because it was actually a cool uh, backpack. We sold this for fifty eight dollars. Uh, we paid between ten and twelve dollars for this, um, and it was on a electronics palette that we got. Uh, then we sold a progress lighting. It was just a light fixture, forty-eight eighty-eight. Uh, we probably paid two dollars for it. Most of the lights we paid about two to three dollars for um, on Home Depot pallets. Uh, we sold a True Drew, a True Zoo, <laughs> um, drink bottle stopper, seven ninety-nine. This is something I didn't think that we was going to be able to sell, but we sent these in the FBA and they sold pretty quick. Um, we sold three more stick bots, as you can see. Uh, let's see, we sold a book. Um, for $22.99, this was also on one of the bulk palettes. Uh, we sold a low pro photo. Uh, the other backpack, the orange one, uh, this one was for $85.99. Like I said, we paid between $12 and $15 for it. Another stick bot. Uh, we sold another light fixture for $21.88. We sold a Crosley um, turntable. So we actually had a bunch of these Crosley turntables. I think we sent in six of them. Uh, we paid between $10 and $12. Uh, a piece for these on an electronics palette. 
Uh, another stick bot, another Crosley for $42.99. Uh, we sold some wallpaper, which we had from a long time ago, Home Depot Palette, $34.99, another stick bot. Uh, we sold a surface protection kit. We got these a long, long time ago, paid about 50 cent for them. Uh, we sold an estate brand um, quilt set. It was $42.99. We sold a, um, a hazard safety vest. We had two of these. We sent those in. Actually, bought both of those uh, for $10.45. Um, we sold Bed Bath & Beyond Wham Suda Vintage um, set. Now we actually have a bunch of these at, I think we sent about 10 of these um, to Fulfilled by Amazon. So hopefully this kind of kicks off the sale of those. Those were $62.99 uh, a piece. So that was a pretty good sale. Uh, we sold another light fixture for $79.99. We paid about two bucks for it. Uh, another Lithonia light. I think we paid about one to two dollars for each one of these. It was on a really, really large uh, lighting palette that we got locally. Um, another Crosley. A record player for $42.99. Uh, we sold um, some globe lights for $13.99. Another light fixture for $79.99. I think that was the same as the one earlier. Yes, it was. Um, we had three of those. We sent those in, sold all three of those. Um, another stick bot, a um, duvet cover set, a book uh, for $11.99. We sold a Minka Lavery light. So a lot of light fixtures. Um, a lot of people probably do at home renovations and things like that since they do have time. Um, some of these are business customers, so they may just be purchasing it for their business. Um, another Lithonia light, um, we sold, uh, oh, this was a reducer tee, and we actually sold another PVC um, bushing. We sent those in a very, very long time ago. We paid pennies uh, for those. So actually, all in all, all in all, for the last 30 days, I don't know if it'll tell me, it may tell me. Yes. So for the last 30 days, we actually had total sales on Amazon for $1,812.25. So it's actually a little bit lower than what we normally have on Amazon.com, but it was still actually pretty good. Um, so as you can see, we got our last payment was $800. That's what we got on the 5th, so the day before yesterday. Uh, actually yesterday, they sent it to us. So that was pretty good. Um, for us to be shut down, it was actually not that bad. So let's go over to Amazon or eBay. Uh, it may take me a minute to figure out exactly how, and I'm not gonna go over all the eBay sales because our eBay sales have blown up and we had one item that sold a lot of. So I'm gonna tell you what that one item is. Um, so as you can see right now, we've actually sold $2,289 in the last 31 days, which is like crazy uh, for us for Amazon um, because a lot of the stuff that we sold was stuff that we listed a long time ago. Um, so I'm just gonna go over uh, a few of the items that we sold. A lot of them, like I said, are uh, the same. It's gonna make me sign in here. So these two I hadn't sold, I hadn't packaged up yet, but we sold a bunch of these pop sockets. So we got black pop sockets. Uh, more to come on those. We're gonna talk a little bit about why these sold so well and why they're actually selling so well. Um, but we probably sold, I believe, between 120 and 150 pop sockets in the last 30 days, actually within the last two weeks on uh, eBay, which is crazy. We had a 40 pound weighted vest. We got these a long time ago uh, locally um, for, I think we paid, between two and five dollars for each piece of this anything that you see weighted or if you see acorn weights we got those it was two to five dollars a piece and we actually sold quite a bit of those more pop sockets uh we sold a nutribullet um for 116 dollars so this nutribullet actually was one we got locally from world retail uh, if you're following palletjacking.com or following palletjacking on youtube you will probably have seen that video more pop sockets uh ankle weights for 32 dollars like i said pay between two and five dollars uh, for those more pop sockets more pop sockets uh, we actually sold another weighted vest um, a 40 pound weighted vest for 87 dollars um, paid between two and five dollars for that uh, more 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 pop sockets pop sockets pop sockets all right we sold a bread maker for parts only uh, we sold that for 20 dollars the shipping was 49 dollars um, so they ended up paying about $80 for this bread maker. It's about a $170 bread maker, but I couldn't get it to work. So I put it down as parts only with no returns. Um, we sold another ankle weight set, more pop sockets. Uh, we had these pictures that we got on a um, bulk pallet a long time ago. Uh, we paid about $3 for each one of these pictures. We sold that for $32. Um, we had this indoor uh, security light that we got on a uh, electronics box. We got that actually locally um, from a place down in Atlanta or retail. More pop sockets, pop sockets. Most of this stuff on eBay is pop sockets, but we did have some stuff that was surprising to me that we sold. Um, oh, we sold uh, those Bose headphone sets for $104. They got a really good deal on those. 
um, more ankle weights, pop sockets, um, more ankle weights. Uh, oh, this was a seed Starling uh, Harvest Vest Slim Elite accessories kit. So we actually had the um, the Harvest Elite set. Uh, we sold that quite a while ago, but we didn't sell the accessory kit to just now. It was twenty four dollars for that. Oh, we sold a Sherry Klein four piece um, set. So this Sherry Klein set was actually like four five hundred. I think 545 dollars we paid 15 dollars for it uh we sold it for 260 dollars that was a pretty good sale uh on the 31st which just uh the other day um more pop sockets more ankle weights so a lot of ankle weights and a lot of pop sockets so a lot of cell phone accessories um and ankle weights uh we sold a brawn um series 7 uh electric shaver set um we sold a zero gravity lounge chair for 90 dollars uh we sold a lot of sales. Um, we sold uh, another, what was that? Anti-glare uh, screen protector for a Samsung phone. Pop sockets, we sold some Skull Candy uh, wireless earbuds for 30 bucks, uh, a book. We sold, oh, the electric power seat for $64. We got that for like $2 um, on a pallet. Um, we sold a Ninja uh, Professional. We sold that for $60, uh, a, a floodlight we sold uh, $32 for a um, iP iPad Pro case um, with the keyboard. Um, we sold two 12 packs of five hour energy drinks. We actually got that on the health and beauty palette uh, locally. This was the bowl, somebody bought them and then they they didn't, they canceled the order so they don't count. Hampton Bay, I don't wanna talk about that cause they made me mad. <laughs> we got a, um, some york wall coverings we've had this listed since we first started a long long time ago probably the first palette we got we finally sold that for 63 dollars um actually we had that in our dollar bin at the store so that was pretty cool um we sold some base plate coverings we sold some um cordless phones uh we sold a stainless steel sink uh we sold underwater reverse osmosis filtration system for 99 dollars uh a han solo doll we sold for $64 we sold a D-Bot um, electric vacuum cleaner um, it's actually broken so we sold it for parts only um, some varnish paint remover we sold a light fixture actually I've gotten all the way back into February so that was it for the sales for the month of March so people are buying a lot of home um, improvement goods uh, a lot of ankle weights and a lot of different things like that like I said our sales on eBay were $2,000 uh, two hundred eighty-nine dollars. So if you add those together, that's about four thousand, a little bit over four thousand dollars worth of sales in the last thirty days. Actually, a really good month for us, especially for us not to have been closed for like the last three weeks at our brick and mortar store. So it just goes to show you that if you are selling uh, items, you shouldn't be afraid to list things because you you know you may think that people aren't buying things, but people are buying things. Um, people do want to purchase things; they don't want to be stuck in the house, but they have to be uh, just because that's just where we're at right now. Um, so that is going to be it for today, guys. I really appreciate you guys for watching. I'm going to be making more of these videos highlighting what we've sold in the last 30 days um, because people have been asking me that. Um, so I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.